Hello, my name is Igor with Zoom, and in this video, I will show you how to set up tripwire and intrusion alarms on your NVR. Also, I will show you how to set up the new IBS smart motion detect feature that you can add when setting up tripwire or intrusion. So the first thing we need to do is we need to right click and go to the main menu. As you can see, we have a new tab, which is AI. We need to click on that. On the left hand side, you can see we have smart search and parameters. We need to click on parameters and it's going to open up a new menu. The first thing we need to do is we need to select smart plan, select the camera that we're working on and select IVS, enable IVS. Click apply and let's go back make sure it did save so as you can see you can also refresh it down here and just make sure that IVS is enabled this is a very important step um, if you do not enable IVS the whole process will not work so once we have IVS enabled on smart plan we need to click on IVS make sure we are using the same camera that we enabled under smart plan and we need to click add this will add our rule with our alarm so here you can show it shows you that it's enabled the type it has tripwire and intrusion so both of them work the same um they they're, they're set up the same way so tripwire is an imaginary line that's drawn on the camera so anybody that crosses the line it's going to get triggered and intrusion is for you to set up around doors or windows so anybody that crosses the door or the window it's going to get triggered so but they're both set up the exact same way um in this in this video i would i'm just going to show you how to set up tripwire but the same way I set up tripwire, you'll set up intrusion. So you are going to click on the draw, and this is where you'll actually draw your rule. So in order for you to draw your rule, you're going to click on the left-hand side of the mouse. As you can see, we have the rule, um, and you're just going to drag it wherever you want. Whenever you want to stop, you can click, click on the left-hand side of the mouse again, and it's going to stop the rule. So as you can see, we have another rule that's coming up. If you want to keep drawing, you can. If you're done, um, drawing all you have to click on is on the right hand side of the mouse once you click on the right you can see that the rule is done and this is rule number one and here you have our AI recognition so this is camera specific so you have to make sure that your camera is compatible with this new feature um, in case you do not see this then more than likely your camera is not compatible with the new feature so here you can see the effective target you can either select human and vehicle so it's only going to look for human and vehicle or you can unselect vehicle and only search for human. So whatever you may be looking for. Or if you don't want it at all, you can just simply turn it off. Here under direction, you can see that it's under both. So anybody that goes up and down, it's going to trigger the alarm. You can do A to B. So anybody going up to down will trigger the alarm. If someone goes down to up, it will not trigger the alarm and vice versa. So it's pretty simple to set up. Um, just follow these simple steps um, one last thing that I would like to mention is that when setting something up like this please um, be considerate of your surroundings as well if you set up the camera up 50 feet up in the air and you expect it to be um, only triggered by humans that's going to be very hard since the camera is so high in the air it makes the human look smaller which the effectiveness of the camera or the AI recognition is not going to be at its best so just make sure you keep that in mind when setting up your cameras and the locations. Um, just make sure you think about that. Uh, once you're done with this, all you have to, have to do is click OK. You will click on trigger. Trigger, you can turn on your buzzer in case you want the alarm to buzz um, or beep when there's a trigger. In case you don't want any of this, you can just right, -cl right click out of it. Once you're done with this, just make sure you click apply. You can click refresh just to make sure everything's saved correctly. And I'm going to check smart plan once again. I'm going to refresh it, make sure everything's saved. So everything's good to go. If we go back to our camera, you can see we have our trigger here. So anybody going down to up, the trigger is going to set up. And that is it. That is how you set up tripwire. And then that is also how you set up our new feature, smart motion tech with our tripwire. Um, alarms. So I hope this video helps you out. Thanks for watching.